Hey pretty people, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I am going to be filming a zero waste haul and the second part is going to be me doing my beach cleanups. Now, first of all, if you don't know what, I mean the term zero waste, you probably do know by now, but it basically means that you don't make any trash, which is so hard when you just hear it. Um, but I think when someone points out the steps you can take to lead such a better lifestyle for our planet, it all seems really easy. So, um, all of these products that I got are from Amazon. Four simple products that can help you get started on your zero waste life journey. Okay, first of all, obviously I don't live zero waste ever. Um, I actually make up a lot of trash, but I'm making tiny steps to try to not have that happen anymore. This actually was inspired to me because I saw a documentary that came out from this Instagram with the name Save the Reef. I'll put a screenshot of them right up here. Basically, they're an Instagram account and they made a video and took a look at their reefs and looked at how the reefs were just absolutely dying. And let's just say I got inspired. The first part of the video um, it actually takes place where it's like in the future, 30 years from now, and basically humans are fucking shit up. They are not taking care of the planet, and in return, we have toxic air outside because our oceans are dead. Um, our coral reefs are dead, and we are suffering and have to wear oxygen masks when we go outside. It's a really great video. I will definitely remember to link it down below. I forget to link a lot of things down below, but I will not forget to link down this video. Something I learned in that video, <laughs> oceans make up 70%, 70% of our oxygen. I'm out here thinking, oh yeah, like thanks for the trees. Like oceans account up to 70% of our oxygen. So when there's a bunch of trash in the ocean or people's sunscreens are melting and killing the coral reefs everything fails because the coral reef is basically the foundation of the ecosystem so basically without coral reefs you can say bye to us we need to keep it all good and fresh and these are a couple things you can do to help the ocean and the planet out. The first thing, which is kind of something really obvious that I feel like everyone knows by now, reusable bags. Now, obviously I have reusable bags already, but they're really big. They're not very convenient because they're so big. Um, like the only place I could really keep them in is in my car. But I found these ones on Amazon that basically like fold up. So here's like the bag all folded up. I have it on my keychain. And then here's how uh, how the bag would look when it's not folded up. So it's a really great size. You can even see the thing um, right here that you fold it up into. It's so easy, it's great. They came in such cute designs. Um, if you can take anything away, I'd say just don't use plastic bags. Um, when you go to a restaurant and you get takeout and they put it in a plastic bag, just tell them no plastic bag, no thank you. When you look up, how many plastic bags are in our ocean. It's insane. Much of our ocean is plastic bags. I mean, the ocean is beginning to be more plastic than it is fish, which is so sad. Fun fact, my boyfriend actually loves to go fishing on the boat. They'll literally hold competitions to see who can pick up the most balloons and plastic bags because there's, there's that many out there. The second thing that I got was metal straws. I obviously know that straws are not, you know, like the end all be all killer, but it's another thing of plastic that we don't need. So obviously, I mean, I love straws. Like I literally love straws. I hate like sipping and they're great. They come with these like little tips that you can put, um, take on and off if you, don't like like the feeling of like metal touching your mouth and you'd rather have like a little thing on it. It comes with a case um, and they have a bunch of different versions of reusable straws all over Amazon. For example, they have ones that like fold up. It's really cool. And then it comes with a bunch of these things so you can clean out the inside of your straw. And I actually carry a couple in this bag um, just in case I'm like with someone and they need a straw. And the next Thing that I will show you guys this now this is what I will be using to take off my makeup from now on so I had 
haven't seen any really scary statistics or anything like that on like makeup remover wipes or like cotton pads but I was noticing that like the main amount of trash that I was making up every single day was like from my beauty products this you can put a micellar water on it an eye makeup remover on it anything on it and just use it to take off your makeup and you can throw them in the washer and they, I used it actually last night not this one the other one I came with it was so soft it was amazing it felt way better than a freaking makeup wipe did last thing for this haul is bee wax wraps and basically what they are is it's very waxy and they're these things of like wax that you can use see how like when i squeeze it like that it bunches up no problem so they and they unravel really easily they are used to wrap up um food foil or like the plastic wrap and it doesn't last long you end up throwing it away that ends up in our landfill so these are reusable and they're a great material and they're freaking way cuter than foil is and um for example like let's say this was too big you could obviously just like cut it but they like shrivel up so easily they'll wrap around anything so these are so cute i actually bought them for my mom because i don't I don't really cook all that much or have like leftover food it's not really a problem of mine so that is the haul portion of this video now for the next part of the video um it's gonna be a couple different like uh days at the beach where i do some beach cleanups